to make serious change in your life, it really ultimately starts with you and your self-awareness of your environment, your choices, the decisions that you make, and if they fall in line with what you want out of your life, and then also your discipline. You know, are you disciplining yourself enough to keep yourself in check? You really can't be saying that you want all of these things but be doing the opposite because that just means you're a hypocrite. You have to learn how to change your habits, and that means learning to break the habits that you've formed. You kind of have to make those hard decisions it doesn't really happen and the change doesn't happen until you are officially ready. Sometimes it takes for you to be tired of your own shit to be ready. Um, but that moment that you finally are self-aware and realizing, you know what, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the same old thing and I want more. I want better. I want different. Great. Now you've become self-aware and now you can do better to fix and change your life. If you want an ultimate change in your life, you have to change yourself. You have to change your way of thinking. You have to change some habits. And a lot of people don't like that. They don't like having to change themselves or they don't like having to take some of the blame or some of the acceptance that the reason why they're in certain situations or, you know, experiencing certain moments is because of themselves. It takes a lot of responsibility to come to terms with, I am putting myself through this. How do I stop? The easiest answer I can give you how to stop and how to break the habit of yourself is really just changing okay so now you have the key now you have the the golden answer of okay I need to change but it's you every day making the conscious decision and conscious effort to follow through with that knowing that if you want different results you have to do different and be different you can't revert back to your old ways because you know these new habits are not fulfilling you enough fast enough it takes time but once you're in that momentum it can't hurt you it'll only serve you a better purpose you know the only thing that can hurt you is falling back into your old ways and old patterns because it's only going to bring you the same results as long as you stay the same you can't expect different outcomes really spend some time with yourself and ask you know what am i doing now what is happening now that I don't like? Is there anything in my control that I can do to fix it or to change it? Is there anything that I can do on a daily basis or with discipline that will kind of get me closer to that? And when you have that self-reflection and you have that talk with yourself, then you realize yes, 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 and yes. If you get frustrated that you feel yourself kind of reverting back to your old ways, don't because that's your self-awareness and that's you being that conscious enough to realize I'm falling back into old patterns and that alone is a step in itself that alone is progress you being able to differentiate and tell that you kind of are going back to your old ways is you knowing that you've made little changes and little progresses learn to spend your thoughts and your feelings and your time wisely and invest in yourself invest in your future the only time when you fail is when you fall down and you stay down and if you're thinking about constantly what you're thinking about and what you're feeding yourself remind yourself that whatever you hold in your mind on a consistent and constant basis is exactly what you experience in your life happy monday